Oh, another little update. I think we're going to be able to get back on this this week and get some stuff done, get the engine changed out, start mocking up where we want things. We're going to put the steering through, change that steering knuckle, and bring it up here, over, and back. And uh, uh, looking at some shocks online that actually have shocks and the airbag on the shock, so it can the air the airbag uh, surrounds that shock, so it'll collapse down with the air, but still giving the shock on the coil your air coils. Um, I just saw one on another truck that that had it. And I still go with my full airbags in the back. So, and we're gonna go with for now. I think we're gonna put those old wheels on her, and uh, and see what we're doing. Gotta replenish my. Odds and ends of metal pile. It's getting down. But yeah, a lot of work to do in here. Probably can't see in there at all. So we're going to mock up where the seats are going to be. Square the cab up. And I'll take the cab back off it. We're going to do a little finish welding on some of the frame parts. Get the cab set back on. Make the mounts. Level it. Get the engine going with that uh, 5 speed. Uh, and the 302 with a roller engine. I have a 95 Ford F100 two wheel drive. Real quick, I'll show you something out here that I just picked up. Had the old truck out this morning. The Impala's gone. And I bought an Escape. Uh, pretty impressed so far with it. Of course, it's a Ford. So, let's see. Down. Guy has some. Well, this would be the molder that's going to go in the rat rod right here. And put it back to uh, get rid of all this on it. That transmission's got to come off it because that's for the four wheel drive transfer case sitting beside it. Keep that for maybe a future project. Going back to Elderbrock intake uh, 600 CFM uh, Elderbrock carburetor. Um, and don't know. I think I can get away with the pan, the oil pump, just the way it is on that, the way that it sits, sits in there. Okay, this is a little truck. This is not a little truck. This is the truck I picked up out of. It came out of Arizona. Actually, that's just all surface rust on that truck. There's really no holes in the truck anywhere, except over the rear wheel. There's just a little tiny one there, but a guy bought it already. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it and uh, sold it. So again, dent right there with the thing runs and dries. Excellent air conditioning, still works. Cruise control, electric windows, an XLT. And let's see. We relocated the derby truck out back because it is not going to get run this year and I'm not really sure what we're doing it. It's got a wicked good uh, V8 engine in it that runs good. So without further ado, boom. 92 Ford F-150 short box. First time they made a short box in four years. It's been four years since they were in the fourth. Oh, wait a minute. Left the door open. So, uh, it's an XLT with no air conditioning, odd, but, uh, got to do a little relocation on the fender, they had a little minor boo-boo and didn't relocate the fender right and set the door where it should be. Actually, the, it's not bad here, it's about where it should be, but it got too much, got to bring the fender back. So it has a six cylinder, 4.9 in it. It has no head on it because the guy it quit on him a week ago and he tried to uh, took it to nap I have the head done it wasn't the head uh, come to find out cylinder one's got a bad compression ring in it no power no no compression on that cylinder uh, 30 pounds so so we'll turn to the Ford horde and right beside that Ranger Bronco is a 95 with a 4.9 in it with 100,000 miles on I bought for the 5 speed for the rat rod. So uh, that's all ready to come out. And we're going to put that in this. And breathe a little bit more life into this. And uh, of course we just need one more Ford truck around here. So it's actually not in bad shape. There's 190,000 miles on the body. Uh, but the box is excellent on it. Uh, it's got new, uh, uh, new U-joints, new front brakes. It looks to be front, new front brakes, new pads on at least. I'll check the rotors if we need rotors. We'll clean it up. I've got to paint the roof and fix the door fender on that side uh, spacing. 
I got a chrome bumper for it. I got the now the second truck in the green and white one there. Uh, I just sold a steering column out of that. That was a runner and a driver. And the guy needs steering column, so um, I got the motor out of that truck. Actually, the body's the guy that owned it before, but he's been storing it here, and we've been first trading parts back and forth. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna take the grill. That's an XLP grill, chrome. Uh, I think the headlights. I got enough headlights between all of them to put two nice clears on. And the, actually, the signal lights are good on this. We'll just change out the headlamps, put the cleaner ones on it. These got vapor and moisture from the seals being bad on them. But uh, the brakes all work on this. Got a brand new battery in it. Uh, the exhaust is all. It was a mechanic that owned it. Uh, we're going to end up putting a rocker. We're going to put a rocker on this side and a cab corner. The other side's already been done, and the, the floor is solid. But it's just uh, it's got some issues with. Uh, with uh, the rocker panel and the cab corner and the cab corner corner metal which I can all get from LMC or one of those outfits these are new fenders that came from LMC a couple years ago we put them on and the driver's side floor was bad and the cab mount they put new cab mount in it new floor and uh, front fenders on it so yeah it's I mean it's a I bought it, it was a $500 truck four-wheel drive all works he said it he was driving it up and down the road he run it every day he said and he kept it up uh, he bought this truck new 23 years ago so this is not bad shape for a 20 uh 23 year old truck i believe it's all that's actually probably older than that it's 92 yeah we're gonna do the math so anyway so <laughs> that's where it is so we're gonna put the 4.9 in there instead of throwing a v8 in that we're gonna put a 4.9 in it and leave it that way and uh i don't know it's just kind of a nice old looking old truck and we kind of saved it it was headed for the scrapyard so I gave him better than scrap price for it. It's got a really nice box on it. All the crosses in, underneath the box are bad, are good, excuse me. A tire, pair of tires for the trailer, it's got a bed liner in it. Uh, I looked on Craigslist the other day and I found a uh, torno cover. And uh, you can see the driver's side's been done. We're gonna have to, the mount, 